market, automobile industry, the usage of temple in the beginning, in the recent past. Almost all these has been microcontroller based development, which means a software developer is given a microcontroller like 8051, pink or whatever. You need to build applications for that particular microcontroller using a cross compiler. So what a software developer uses is basically C kind of language or assembly kind of language. Along with that, make use of tools like cross compiler, both this application onto a microcontroller, and embed this microcontroller onto another mobile or onto a consumer device. This is this is the job in interior. So till recent past has been so because these microcontrollers were very much sufficient to carry out a specific job. Job was very much specific. So if you look at the initial initial embedded development, it's all microcontroller based. But later what happened, as the time progressed now, these embedded devices did not carry just one application. If you look at the consumer devices today, the consumer devices today carry a lot of programs, not just one, one feature. Earlier consumer devices just had one feature. Now we have so many features built into a consumer device that we require more power than what a microcontroller can provide. So then came in the usage of microprocessors specially built for these embedded devices like there are architectures like MIPS, Freescale, all these are examples. Examples of powerful microprocessors which are built for embedded. Correct? These are the examples of Freescale PPC. MIPS is one dominant. Some variants of ARM. Um, these are not the ones which we use on PCs. These are the ones which are used only for embedded devices, embedded development. So initial embedded development, a software developer used to interact with microcontrollers, program microcontrollers, test his application on microcontrollers. Now, if you have to build a real world embedded device, if you have to look at any of these industries now, the applications have gone up. The number of applications have gone up. Since the number of applications have gone up, it is inevitable that these embedded devices also have microprocessors. Now when there is a microprocessor, there is a possibility of huge processing power. You can have n number of applications on it. Now when you have so many applications competing to make use of a microprocessor, we need some software to manage this microprocessor. And then can something called, like we had in the PCs, the early PCs, the PCs that we use today, we had an operating system earlier because PCs also were meant for only one or two applications. As the number of applications gone up, as the number of applications that we use on PC have gone up, what happened? It gave a entry to, it gave, it gave up some space for operating system entry. Operating systems are basically system software drivers which share this hardware with a number of applications. So then came something called OS. But the OS which we use here, we call it as embedded OS. OSs that we use in, in these embedded devices, which are the microprocessors or the microcontrollers, we call it as embedded OS. So now we have embedded OSs also in place. Like you said earlier, now there are two kinds of embedded device development strategies. One is without operating system, the other one is with operating system. So this is our starting point of our informative, this, this gathering. We first look clearly to embedded devices in their market, which are completely non-OS based. Embedded devices in their market, which are completely OS based. If it is OS based, what is the role of OS? Why an OS is needed? And what is the market share of this one right now? What is the market share of the non OS based one? Right? We look into those aspects. So the software side, if you see, developing an embedded application, developing embedded software involves making use of an OS. And also it is possible without an OS. Now out of these, out of these all the areas of implementation, Which area is going faster? In the recent past, which area has gone, which area is going faster out of all these embedded areas? 
and human electronics is growing fast. A lot of new kinds of devices, audio players, video players, new kinds of devices are coming into this particular market segment, isn't it? So a lot of consumer devices. Now these consumer devices are coming with many applications. So most of the consumer device market, if you look at a Samsung DVD player, or if you look at so many DVD players, they have Linux in it, very small Linux in it. So these consumer devices, since they are providing many applications, most of the consumer devices today are coming with operating system in it. Right? So that's one area where operating system based embedded development is happening heavily. The first point you need to note down is embedded software development has two sides. One is the operating system based one, the other one is directly hardware specific one. these two, this one gives us what benefits. Say for example, I have an operating system in place and then I have a processor there. When I want to build applications, what are the benefits of that environment? Hmm? That's, that's not a very good application. Let's move. Let's ensure you are developing a mobile phone. Ensure that you are building a mobile phone. You are responsible for writing and implementing software for a mobile phone. What features you have a mobile phone? To compete in the market at this point, what features you plan for a mobile phone? Just basic communication. Will that be enough? No. So if you are planning your own mobile phone, first step is you must first provide software for basic communication. Basic communication software requires protocol, doesn't it? Which protocol? some communication protocol like JSON and all that stuff. So this is the basic communication so application. What else you provide? Let's assume you are developing a mobile. What else you can think of? What else are the features you can think of in the current market scenario? You can think of video players. 